flag can still fly on the frontier of a proud British outpost like this one, Gibraltar. Gibraltar's runway more than measures its width, for the whole of it is only two and a quarter square miles, and here too there's a tradition. If Gibraltar's apes die out, the British will have to leave the rock. These Barbary apes are the only ones in Europe. During the war, they brought some new ones in to boost morale in this fortress where Nelson's casualties were laid at rest. Gibraltar is a bastion base steeped in history. Those are the cannonballs that they shot red hot at the Spanish ships that besieged Sir George Eliot and his garrison nearly 200 years before that nylon flag was hoisted over government house and our post-war servicemen took over ceremonial guard. As with the Tower of London, there's something romantic about Gibraltar apart from its history. This military base that gazes across its airstrip to Spain, showing its defensive teeth emplaced in the ancient rock. In the face of Spain, we've tried to anglicize this Mediterranean rock with homely signposts and with our homegrown pillar boxes. An English-looking policeman in a setting of Roman arches and sun-drenched pepper trees. We set out, as we had to, to hold it, to turn this rock with its freak beauty into a self-supporting stronghold where the water supply was the biggest headache. Because the only water fit to drink is the rainwater you can catch and keep. We built this concrete catchment, so we secured the water to drink where all around there's salt water that's only good for a swim. This is a British garrison town and you can never forget it. You never want to, because here your British servicemen and their families surrender themselves off duty to the southern loveliness of the place. Who would have thought that a cramped fortress could at the same time be such a beautiful and seemingly spacious holiday land? The Moorish castle is a prison. This British bastion stays obstinately sleepy and simple, to say the least. Main Street Gibraltar is the hub of the human part of the universe. It's high street utopia, as far as shopping is concerned, the gayest high street you could ever conceive. Suit lengths at free port prices and ready to wear the same day. You can't just walk through Gibraltar's markets unaffected. You go up in the air. You marvel at this craggy outcrop, which is almost an island, where Europe rubs noses with Africa. A limestone lion, they say, and from every angle, Gibraltar looks fascinating, different. Europa Point, Gibraltar's lighthouse that every Mediterranean traveler sees as he goes through the straits and compulsively photographs. Gibraltar is compulsive and a ceaseless surprise. Fishing. Of course, from Gibraltar, you go fishing. Every year, famous fishermen from all over the world congregate here for an international fishing contest that's celebrated and are unique. You can find the sweetest of fish and the greatest variety, here where you're always within a mile or so of the jetty where it was brought ashore. Because here you've got gardens, villages, peaceful places, all just a short walk from the bustle. Beaches there are in profusion, surprising space, 
quiet communities, holidaymakers with a fair share of the seashore to themselves. And yet, at their elbow, the frontier. This is Europe's shortest frontier. At times, it's been the toughest frontier in all the world. A lot of Spaniards come into Gibraltar to work. Ironically, they take bread back to their own wheat-growing country from this place where every loaf is imported, such as the topsy-turvy order of the day. And there's always drama. Long live Gibraltar's apes and those tower ravens for all our sakes.